We've all been trained since we were little that where there's smoke, there's fire. And when there's a fire, you can assume there's an emergency. But that isn't always the case, especially this time of year in the northern portion of our viewing area. News Channel 5's Chris Davis shows us why curing tobacco is causing an influx of unnecessary 911 calls. Montgomery County 911, where is your emergency? It happens every year around this time. Are you currently there? Drivers see smoke billowing out of a barn and call 911. Do you have any idea if it was in the city of Clarksville or if it was in the outlying county? But what some call in as an emergency, this farmer calls a way of life. No two barns will fire the same every year. No two barns fire the same period. Timothy Head estimates he's the eighth generation of his family to farm tobacco on the Robertson Montgomery County border. This area here, we have the combination of the right soils and hardwoods to cure it out. And at one time, this was the dark fire capital of the world. And the process hasn't changed much over hundreds of years. We start in early May, mid-May, put it in the ground. Along with a team of migrant workers, they grow tobacco leaves in the summer sun. And as the temperature starts to fall, the leaves are cut and stored inside these barns. But at some point, I'll have this barn up about 135 to 140 degrees. And I want it bone dry top to bottom when I come out of it. But to get it ready for cigar and snuff manufacturers, dark fired tobacco has to cure in smoke for nearly a month. The less sawdust you put, the, little, the more flame you'll get, the hotter it'll burn. Oh, they'll turn completely brown. And as you might expect, that process can often turn heads. And there was a guy standing there with the door open and runs up to the tractor and tells me that my barn's on fire. And I just, I said, what, what, what are you doing, you know? It can also create a burning desire to call the fire department. I would say 20 or 30 calls every year and maybe more. Montgomery County EMA Director Ed Baggett says even though the callers may mean well, by law, they have to check on it. If for time resources checking a barn that's not on fire and then we get a structure fire, then our resources are tied up on that. So that's a dangerous situation. Which is why they're hoping to send up a signal. If it's white smoke, typically they're firing tobacco. If it's black smoke, then they're, the barn's probably on fire. But for those who have been around it for a lifetime. I call it more of an art. It's a smell and a surefire sign of the season to come. Firing tobacco in football season. With photojournalist Jordan Powell, Chris Davis, News Channel 5.